I did. I'm so sorry. How is my sister? She's upstairs. Thank you. My goodness, did you see her hem? She looked deep in the mud. She looked positively medieval. May I have the next dance, Miss Elizabeth? You may. I love this dance. Indeed, most invigorating. Three hundred pounds. Mr. Darcy, what are you doing here? Mr. Darcy, I had no idea we had the honour. Miss Elizabeth, I'm a guest here. Assembly, he danced with nobody at all. Even though gentlemen were scarce and there was more than one young lady sitting down without a partner. I knew nobody beyond my own party. Oh, and nobody can be introduced in a ballroom. But William? I do not have the talent of conversing easily with people I have never met before. Perhaps you should take your aunt's advice and practice. Run. I thought you were in London. No. No, I'm not. No. no I we would not have come in early. Some business with my steward. Yeah. I'm in Devonshire with my aunt and uncle. And now you're having a pleasant trip. Very pleasant. Tomorrow we go to Matlock. Tomorrow. Are you staying at Lambton? Yes, at the Rose and Crown. Yes. I'm so sorry to intrude. They said that the house was open for visitors. I had, I had no idea. May I see you back to the village? No. My sister, Miss Georgiana. My brother has told me so much about you. I feel as if we are friends already. Oh, thank you. What a beautiful pianoforte. My brother gave it to me. He shouldn't have. Yes, I should. Oh, very well, then. <laughs> Easily persuaded, is she not? Your unfortunate brother once had to put up with my playing for a whole evening. But he says you play so well. <laughs> you play you play you so <laughs> most profoundly. No, I said played quite well. Oh, quite well is not very well. I'm satisfied. run away with Mr. Wickham. They are gone from Brighton to Lord knows where. She has no money, no, no connections. I fear she's lost forever. This is my fault. If only I had exposed Wickham when I should. No. No, this is my fault. I might have prevented all this merely by being open with my sister. Has anything been done to recover her? My father has gone to London, but I know very well that nothing can be done. We have not the smallest hope. Would I could help you? So I think it is too late. This is grave indeed. I will leave you. Goodbye. I'm afraid we must go at once. I will join Mr. Bennett.
what you have done for Lydia. And I suspect for Jane also, it is I who should be making amends. <laughs>